अब मैंने कहा अंतिम पार है अभी कहता है करें सुप्रीम में कहीं इंफ्लुएंस में कहना मैं कहना दे इस तरह लेने इस तरह लेने कि प्रश्न देखते हैं ना कितने कर लेने नहीं तो आ इन द लास्ट टाइम वी डिस्कस्ड इंफ्लुएंस एंड सुप्रीम बट बिकॉज इंफ्लुएंस वी टॉक इट एस द लार्जेस्ट लोअर बाउंड सुप्रीम इस स्मॉलेस्ट � It means if you have some set of numbers, if you place them on the real number line, if you can found some real number which is larger than any of these uh, numbers in your set, you call it an upper bound. So our supremum is the smallest of the of such upper bounds. And also, if you take any number which is Below the annual of these numbers, you call it the lower bound, and the largest of those, you call it the infimum. Again, if we talk about the numbers, we are talking about the real number line. If we cut the mark, we are talking about the number of local numbers. We are talking about the upper bound. We are talking about the upper bound. We are talking about the number of local numbers. We are talking about the lower bound. We are talking about the number of local numbers. इतने कोटा अभी कारण नहीं सुप्रीमम में क्या नहीं अपाव बाउंड है कभी आटी का विशेष है मगर तो सुप्रीमम में करने वाला पोडिंग अपाव बाउंड है तीन ने बहेके नो आठ तीन ने पुलांग अपाव बाउंड डोली पोडिंग में किनारा था माँ सुप्रीमम में कभी इंफ्यूमम में कभी नहीं आठ तीन पुलांग लोअ बाउंड डोली लोको में don't uh, confuse with uh, the infirm and supremum because lower bound is something smaller, but you have infirm is the smallest of lower bounds, so the largest of lower bounds. But upper bounds are something larger, but the supremum is smallest of those upper bounds. So don't uh, confuse with these things, right? So this, because uh, upper bound is something larger, but the supremum is the smallest upper bound, and infirm is the largest uh, lower bound. Okay. So I provide you the definition as well. Let's say you have a subset S. You can say if you can say uh, uh, let's say if you take uh, let's say some some set and you can say that uh, you can definition the supremum. You can write this as uh, for all epsilon greater than zero, there exists delta greater than not delta. If it's zero, there exists some uh, element in S, element S in your set, simple list, such that S plus epsilon greater than your supremum. Or you can uh, avoid confusion, you can write little a as well, otherwise uh, it will be somewhat confusing. Supremum of it, right? And this is the definition of supremum. So let's say you can take this as S, and you can say if and only if I make it complete, S equal supremum of A. It means if you want to find a supremum of A, or if you have some supremum uh, for your set A, it should satisfy this definition. It means for any real number. The, it doesn't matter what real number you choose. If you add the real number, you, you can always find some element in your set such a way that if you add this real number to that element, you will get uh, an element larger than your supremum of A. In other words, what does this mean that you cannot, if you, uh, this is uh, something interesting. It means, I write this term in a, another way. It means you can write S. Uh, sorry, uh, you can write your A. Your A element is greater than S minus epsilon. Since epsilon is a positive number, this quantity is smaller than S. In other words, what you are saying is there is an element 
larger than any real number below s you can find an element in a which is greater than or equal you can also put equal sign here if you want but uh, because for closed sets your supremum can be element to your set as well so you can find that some if you take any number below your supremum below your supremum you can always find some element greater than or larger than that number it means if you you cannot draw a supremum line here something somewhere here because you have some element larger than that one so supremum means the smallest value that you can you cannot find any number greater than that thing okay you get my point right or you can uh, simply lightning let that term as well because you cannot don't have the equal side here because uh, when you take the negation it is other side so no greater than or equal not uh, you cannot say it is greater than or equal right because uh, because uh, because if it is equal it is doesn't violate the principle of uh, supremum right so you cannot uh, because supremum your supremum uh, can be a for any a greater than a. it means if you take any element of your super from your set it should be less than or equal to a supremum but in definition you cannot put the e uh, equal sign here because uh, because if you take uh, let's say you have some set like uh, very simple set one two five or something this is your set so definitely your supremum is five right supremum is five uh, let's say this is a so your supremum of a is going to be five but uh, if you take epsilon to be 0 0.0001 if you take the element five if you add 0 0.0001 this value is greater than five so you you can find some value which is greater than your supremum so if your supremum is inside your set you can uh, for any epsilon uh, you can choose this your supremum value here right so it is uh, it satisfy your uh, this definition of your primum so you don't have to put uh, equal sign there so sorry i, I did some mistake previously put in there so you don't have to put the uh, equal sign there because that's the question in the chat okay so in the same way in the infimum you can uh, write the definition uh if you i think you don't have to like uh, note it down because these are all in the slide but the thing you lacking is the understanding right can i definition again saralava kiyanni उंड मारना prove some value is the supremum or some value is the infimum or some value is the limit of that function or something it means you cannot find the limit or find the supremum using the definition you can find some find this value or guess this value in some other mechanism and you can use the definition to prove it okay hello ay prashna yak thiyena okay ay den hithanna ko api supremum ekak s kiyala gattot उपकल्पनेंग 
Uh, मुखाने एलिमेंट which is smaller than that value so then it it is not a lower bound so you cannot found a lower bound about the infimum so that is the way you should read mathematical statements right you don't try to memorize this this is the form you have to see what, what is this actually say and then you will understand what is this meaning of it right so today because uh, if you think it of that way you don't have to memorize this statement because once i cover the limits there are i think in limits i think if you try to memorize it it has i think 10 or 11 12 forms of the limits when it is involved with positive infinity and negative infinity and sequences but if you know what is the definition is saying you just have to like understand what is this mathematical statement say then you have to only like uh, memorize or uh, memorize or like uh, keep in mind one one form of the definition and you can change it for any other cases with this You don't have to memorize ten or eleven cases, and you can do any problem with very easy. Okay, so then this is uh, you are actually our definition of the infima. So then, let's see how this thing actually gonna act, uh, uh, we find in the problem in our practice. So how we gonna apply this in real practice? So it is in your tutorial number three. You have a problem. I do, I'm gonna do the same problem here. So it is it much easier for you as well. because you might try this at your home let's take my set is something like this 1 over n for n in natural numbers natural numbers mean uh, it is in mean such that 1 2 3 in a such a way that yeah you can have any and sort of numbers so now 
can anyone tell me what is the inform of this set? Can anyone guess? Because any natural numbers, you know, one over n, right? So one over n means uh, it, is, it has one over one, one over two, one over three, one over four, and so forth. So what should be my infimum? Can anyone guess? In your infinity. Uh, it is one over n, right? Not n. ओके now i have, what, what i have to prove i have to prove if i take this set i have to prove if this is an uh, i have to prove for all epsilon greater than 0 right there exists a in a such that a minus epsilon less than my infimum which is i we got our guess is 0 okay so how we going to do that okay now we know our a is in the form of 1 over n where n is some natural number right okay so now we're going to do something like this let epsilon greater than 0 i take any positive number which is greater than 0 so we know if epsilon greater than 0 1 over epsilon is always greater than 0 we know that right and so how also we know that also we can find n naught in n such that n naught greater than one epsilon agree if you take any real number right if you take any real number it doesn't matter what the real number is you can always find a natural number Greater than that real number. You can be the Mukakari or epsilon than a Sankyava Gana, one no epsilon can in the Sankyava, Monkey no matter one no epsilon can in the Sankyava, Lupu, a natural Sankyava, Metam Apigina, Garin Sankyava, Kuan, Pulanica, the Katu Hatravagi, Kavada, infinity in a Yarani, make infinity in a man. Egiani, but a one no epsilon can in a Lupu, natural number, Nikamuaganipulu. The mere guy would get a mark on the name of the Ranisa, but a metering can blow one no win note greater than less than epsilon. And it was say, but I decamely and a blue one no in note minus zero one no in note minus epsilon less than zero. Right? Everybody somebody can blow for all epsilon greater than zero, there exists a in a. Such that a minus epsilon less than zero, which is implies infimum of a equals zero. Teruna? Ever go with the Teruna? The Teruna at the Manga again. Whether we want to put any proof of the regard, Miss Essential. Vishara Samana in the Ekanisa. What take the room of the Ekanisa again? What should talk or antimatter, but the Ekanisa doesn't shoot up Prashne, put up a pedina, Kutana, Vishara Samana, Ekanisa, and you know, with a name. Epsilon can order the Sanka Gatto. But a carota look natural number eight, a pulling or a epsilon can a canathan of a gilagata again. Take again a canagata, a hitanago, a care take a cup pinna. Have you got it or a look natural number? Hold up the Pavagi got to eat on a look with it. You know, at a upper bound and a dead natural number. The Archimedian property is called the Archimedian property. Oh, wait a minute, I think it just got disconnected. Okay, so you can hear me, right? Hello, can you hear me? Hello. Okay. 
So it is called Archimedia property. Can Archimedia property can kill no owner real number got to the art of a loku uh waginama uh in integer ho uh natural number. You can natural number set unbounded number the art one of the local natural number bound and neck and you don't know how high the semi kaya got to the natural number sort of see a kai bindu one ci dashama ekawagi got that it is a natural number in any way. उंडली निश्चर सुप्रीम It means x is a real number, so x is between x is positive and x is less than x squared is less than two. What is what is the supremum of this set? By looking at it, what is the supremum? Hello. Bindu. Ah. Huh? Root two. Root two. Yes. We get supremum a equals root two. Right. It is our guess, right? We don't have to prove that. Now, we have to prove. For all epsilon greater than zero, the x is a in a such that what? Such that uh, a plus epsilon greater than our supremum is root two. Right. So this is we have to prove. This is the thing we have to prove. Don't worry, I I will share this. Uh, Whiteboard with you PDF file, so don't then you don't need to have write these things, so you can write these at later times. The key thing is need to understand how you gonna do these things because that, because uh, it doesn't matter if you write it down and you don't know anything, right? So try to focus on the screen. I, I will share these notebooks. Don't try to write anything because uh, sometimes what will happen is you try write things and you miss the things I'm saying. So just try to understand what is happening. I will share the PDF of these uh, whiteboard as well with you. So then, uh, to prove this one, what I am going to do is, I am consider this part. So this is literally saying, a is greater than root two minus epsilon. That is, uh, that is what this literally saying, right? Okay. So I start with let epsilon greater than zero. So epsilon is any positive number. Uh, epsilon greater than zero, and I can always say epsilon. Yeah, epsilon greater than zero. Then, um, and I say epsilon less than root. Two, okay, for some reason because uh, I take some a number epsilon greater than zero and epsilon less than uh, root two, right? So because this is uh, this want to be because otherwise uh, we cannot. Like to the next statement. So then uh, I will take some number. Let's say x, not x. I say y going to be equal root two minus epsilon. So I know y is going to be less than root two, and y is greater than zero because uh, epsilon is in between zero and root two. So if I square this thing, I can take zero y squared less than two. So clearly. See this guy, right? So this guy and this guy. 
So clearly y is going to be element of my set A because it is satisfying these two requirements, right? It is here and this is here. So it means if I take epsilon between 0 and root 2, I can find an element of element of y in my set A. Also, I can have, right? Also, I can have something like this. Since, uh, okay, so then, then I know y plus epsilon, right? y plus epsilon, uh, y plus epsilon is equivalent to root 2. Okay, so this is uh, uh, this is what I got. So then, what will happen? Right? What will happen? I choose, let's say, some epsilon bigger than, let's say, I can choose uh, because let epsilon get zero. I can I can put the is epsilon two two here as well, right? Because uh, this is uh, because you can put any positive number here without uh, doing uh, anything right so then uh, you can have seven greater than zero epsilon equal root two so epsilon divided by two is always less than one over root two so it is uh, it means root two over two so it is going to be positive so then you can have this one you can have y, y plus epsilon over two is greater than that one so then what would happen is you can say y plus epsilon is greater than y plus epsilon over two which is greater than because because the because when I write it down I see that I cannot keep it is epsilon there so I put just make this is epsilon over 2 so then I can add epsilon over 2 to both sides to make y, y plus epsilon greater than this guy so this is the preferred preferred way right because I, I, I need this shape I need this guy okay so then thus we can say uh, for all epsilon greater than zero, there exists a in a such that a plus epsilon greater than uh, greater than root two. So then you will wonder, I take epsilon between zero and root two, right? To, for, for, uh, because you can always do if if you want, you can take root two root two as well because uh, I put divided by two over here. So why I take an epsilon in that way? Now the question is, but I am saying this is true for any epsilon. Can anyone guess the reason? Why it is that? I straight away write this is true for any epsilon greater than 0. Straight away, why is that? Can anyone guess? This is the thing you need to learn, right? These are tricks you need to learn, use, learn when you are using epsilon delta proofs. Why? Can anyone? A is positive and when epsilon is positive that means the addition becomes higher yeah that is true but uh, yeah so it means uh, because epsilon positive means i don't consider the values uh, greater than epsilon i don't consider the case where epsilon uh, greater than equal to root 2 why because if you can find some value let's say you can find some value y plus or a plus epsilon right you know a plus epsilon greater than root 2 right so this guy less than root 2 it works so if it is less than root 2 it works if you put some bigger value than root 2 it always works right because it is yeah somewhere here right okay you know you can find a plus root 2 right so get, because any any value less than root 2 you can put a plus any value less than root 2 so you can find some if you take any value less than be between 0 and root 2 you can have some element in a such a way that when you add element to that number you will get value bigger than root 2 so if you put if you put a number bigger than root 2 here you always find an element right you got my point again api den gattoth epsilon kenek kena mama meka oppu karanne bindu eda me moola deka eda kayana vitarane e hitanna mama metana kiyanne mokadda kiyala oge tawala kuda liwwa I am going to go to the house. I am going to go to the house. I am going to go to the house. I am 
මම මෙතන ඉතන කොහෙද මෙතන බිඳුස මූල දෙක අතර ඉන්නේ ලක්කමකට මට ඒකේ ලක්කමක් කොහෙලා පෙන්න්න පුළුවන්. ඉතින් තව එක්කෙනෙක් කියනවා මම දානවා මෙතන 10 වගේ ලක්ක. එන සේම් ලක්කම. ඉතින් මම මෙතන මම මෙතන කඩ බිඳුස රූට් දෙක අතර ලක්කම මෙතන කඩ එක. එක කේලි ලක්කම ගත්තු මට ඒ දැන එක කේලි එක්කෙනා මූල දෙකට වඩා විශාල එකකට මේ මම දන්නවා එක කේලි එක්කෙනා දැම්මොත් මට ඒ කේලි එක්කෙනේ කොහෙලා පෙන්න්න පුළුවන් මගේ සෙට් A එකෙන්. සෙට් A එකේ කොහෙලා පෙන්න්න පුළුවන්. A එක එකක් එකතු කරාම මේ මූල දෙකට වඩා ලොකු වෙනවා. ඉතින් මම එක වෙනුවට 10 දැම්මොත් ඒ දැන 10 කියන එක නෑ ඒ දැන එකට වඩා කොහොමත් ලොකු වෙනවා. ඉතින් එයා මූල දෙකට වඩා කොහොමත් ලොකු වෙනවා. ඉතින් මේ පොඩි එක්සල් එකට වැඩි කරනවා කියන්නේ එක්සල් එක ලොකු වුණා කියලා කිසිම ප්‍රශ්නයක් නෑ කොහොමත් වැඩි කරනවා. අදාස පැහැදිලි? හලෝ පැහැදිලිද? පැහැදිලි? පැහැදිලිද? ඔව් වැඩිනේ. මම මෙතන මේ එක්සල් එකට මෙහෙම ගන්න හේතු වුණේ මොකද මෙතන හිතන්නකෝ මම එක්සල් එකට රිස්ට්‍රික්ට් කරේ නැහැ කියලා. දැන් මෙතන ප්‍රූෆ් එකක් ලැබෙයි මොකද හිතන්නකෝ මම 100 වගේ වුණා කියලා. එතන මොකද වෙන්නේ? මූල දෙකට එන 100 කියන එක කියලා කවදාව එයාගේ වර්ග කරා මූල දෙකට අඩු වෙනවද? නෑ. හරි මොකද එයාගේ අනු ගානක් ඇවිල්ලා ඌව වර්ග කරමුකෝ ලොකු ගානක් කරා. හැබැයි මට ඒ විදිහට ගන්න ඕන නැහැ කියලා මට මේ ප්‍රූෆ් එක හරියට ලියාගෙන කියලා මේ වර්ග කරලා ඒ කියන්නේ වයි කී වර්ගය දෙකට වඩා අඩු වෙන විදිහට ඉලක්කමක් ගන්න තමයි මම එක්ස් එල් එක රිස්ට්‍රික් කරගත්තේ. හැබැයි රිස්ට්‍රික් කරගත්තර අන්තිම පිය වැඩිදී මට පේනවා මෙත ඒ කියන්නේ මේ පොඩි එක්ස් එල් එකට වැඩ කරනවා කියලා ඔප්පු කරන එක ඕකේ මට ඕනේ එක්ස් එල් එකට වැඩ කරනවා කියලා ඒක ලියන්න ඕනෙත් නැහැ ඇත්තට. ඔන්න ඔය වගේ පුංචි දේවල් වලින් තමයි ඔන්න එක්සල් එක ඩෙල්ටා ප්‍රූෆ් වල වරදින්නේ. ඒ කියන්නේ ඕගොල්ලෝ කරන්නේ නෝ ඕන එක්සල් එකකට දාගෙන වැඩේ කරන්න. කොහොම සමහරක් කරලාට එහෙම ඕනේ නැහැ. එක්සල් එක රිස්ට්‍රික්ට් කරගෙන ප්‍රූෆ් එක ලියන් එනවා. හැබැයි අන්තිමේ දින රිසල්ට් එක වාට ඕන එක්සල් එකකට ජෙනරලයිස් කරන්න පුළුවන්. ඒක තේරෙන්න. Hello. Anyone? අයියෙ දැන් මේ මේ ලකේ ඇතුල කිසියම් මගයකටත් වැඩේ හරි යනවා නේ. ඊට වඩා වැඩි අගයක් ගැන කතා කරන්න ඕනේ නැහැ කියන එක ද අයියෙක් කියන අවස්ථා හරි. කතා කරන්න ඕනේ මෙන්න 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 මේ වගේ තරකදී බලන්න. ඒ දැන එක්සල් එකක් වගේ තියෙන. මොකද එක්සල් එක දරවන්නේ මෙතන ඉන්නේ. දැන් මෙතන A මයිනස් එක්සල් එකක් වගේ තියෙන බඩක් කියලා. දැන්. ඉතින් දැන් මෙතන මෙතන මේ අපි ඔප්පු කරන එක අපි මෙතන ඔප්පු කරන්නේ සරලවම මට ඕන ධන සංඛ්‍යාව වා එක බිඳුව සහ මූල දෙක අතර ධන සංඛ්‍යාව දුන්නොත් එයාට ඒ කියලා එක්කෙනෙක් එකතු කරන්න පුළුවන් මගේ ඒ කියන සෙට් එකකින් අරගෙන එලිමන්ට් එකක් හොයා ගන්න පුළුවන්. එයාව එකතු කරාම රූට් එකකට වඩා ධන ඉලක්කමක් වෙනවා. හැබැයි මේක මෙහෙම තිබ්බොත් ඕක වෙන්නේ නැහැ හරි. ඒ මයිනස් එක්සල් එකක් වගේ වෙලා මෙහෙම තිබ්බොත් වෙන්නේ නැහැ මොකද? මේක ඉතින බිඳුව සහ මූල දෙක අතර වැඩි කරාට එක් මූල දෙකකට වැඩි එක්කෙනෙක් දැම්මොත් එයා වෙන්නේ එතකොට මෙහෙන් නෙමෙයි මේ පැත්තේ. ඒ මයිනස් අපි දැනුවත් එක්සල් එකක් ඩෑෂ් කියලා එක්කෙනෙක් ඉන්නවා එයා මූල දෙකකට වඩා ලොකුව. එතකොට එහෙම දාන්න බෑ. හැබැයි මෙතන දාන්න පුළුවන් මොකද මෙයා ඉන්නේ A plus එක්සල් එකක්. ඉතින් එක්සල් එකට ඕන තරම් ලොකු වෙන්න පුළුවන් කිසි ප්‍රශ්නයක් නැහැ මොකද එයා ඉන්නේ මෙහෙම. ඒ කියන්නේ පොඩි එක්සල් එකකට ඔප්පු කරත් ලොකු එක්සල් එකකට යන්නේ අනිවාර්යෙන් වැඩ කරනවා. මොකද එක්සල් එක ලොකු කරපු ගමන් එයා යන්නේ මෙහෙට. මේ පැත්තට අසමානතාව මේ පැත්තට. මිසක් මෙහෙට නෙමෙයි. පැහැදිලි? පැහැදිලි? හරි. හරි. එක්සල් එකෙන් බෙදීම දෙක ගත්තේ මට වෙන්නේ මෙතන හැඩි හදා ගන්න ඕනේ. සමුකද එක්සල් එකෙන් මම එක්සල් එකෙන් ගත්තොත් ඊටම එක්සල් එකෙන් කෙලින්ම මෙතන y එක්සල් එකෙන් දාගෙන මට මෙතන එන්නේ y එක්සල් එකෙන් සමානයි රූට් එක කියලා. එහෙම ගත්තා කියලා මට මේ කියන්නේ उंड The reason I am taking epsilon over two is I need to have y plus epsilon greater than root two. So what I am going to do is I am going to have some value less than y plus epsilon to be equal to root two. So then I can make uh, so if I take uh, y plus uh, if if I take some value less than y plus epsilon to be equal to root two, I know definitely y plus epsilon is going to be greater than root two, right? It means I need to have y plus epsilon. So I need get something smaller than that, and I going to be equal to root two. So that's what I'm going to do, right? So, so that reason I instead put putting epsilon, I put epsilon over two. Or if you want, you can put epsilon over four or epsilon over ten or anything, right? Ah, uh, yeah. If you want, you can go in that way. If you want, let's say you can assume that assume the eyes and uh, upper bound lower than. This guy, right? If you in a proof by contradiction, if you want, right? Let's say I do it that way as well. So assume there is an upper bound u less than root, right? Less than root. Less than root. Okay. 
so then take u plus root 2 over 2 let's say this is let's say it's equal that one it's not equal that one right squared so you can take u squared right u squared plus 2 root 2 plus 2 over 2 right okay so then uh you know so wait a minute uh, to take yeah root two so then uh okay you don't have so, the way, so you know this guy is gonna be less than root two anyway because if you take any number a and b on the real number line right a plus b is the b over two is the middle of these numbers right so then if you take x squared two x not squared it is you know it is gonna be smaller than root two right it is gonna be smaller than root two so then x naught going to be an element of a so this is the contradiction because we assume u is an upper one right because contradiction because x naught greater than u right? so then you cannot have upper bound less than root 2 okay so that is how you are going to prove uh, by contradiction and if we take epsilon greater than 0 then we can take epsilon no, epsilon n by arithmetic property then 1 over epsilon e, then we could subtract root 2 from both sides then you can easily show the result uh, no there is no 1 over n here right because there are, if you are set if you take i think you are going to mess up your a set is this one right x is a real number x is greater than 0 and uh, x squared is less than 2. Uh, somebody has question why you I don't know how you have this 1 no end here right so there is no 1 no end here so you have to take some value let's say because this your set is defined as x is a real number where x is a positive and x squared is less than 2 so then this is the only definition right to uh, some number to belong to the set so then what you're going to do is uh, we want to find we we're going to straight away see that root 2 is the supremum and we use in the definition we prove that root 2 is the supremum in the second phase what we're going to do is we're going to assume no we can have a power bound less than root 2 and we we found out that uh, it, it cannot be the case because there is numbers greater than that tower, uh, upper bound which is an element of our set according to the definition so i think someone has sent the send me the uh, question might confused with this problem right this is some separate problem this is i consider a different set rather than this set right so these are two different questions right not the same problem i think uh, you got the problem the one who sent me send me the problem hello you understand this both this hello anyone any problem you can ask right or else uh, i can move it to functions because i have to do some sort of functions the things when i after uh, before i go to the limits right because you need to understand what are the functions and what are things are. okay so then let's move it uh i think uh, because last time i got some like some feedback saying do you need guys need to some sort of time to write down or some time to some down to what you call that's the things I'm saying. So I take I, I will give you a couple of minutes to if you need to write down something on either slide. Anyway, I'm going to see uh, share this PDF with you so you can uh, easily refer them. Uh, if you want to writing in time, you can let me know, right? So I'm speaking too fast. You can let me know. So that's fine. Anyway, hello, hello. okay so now okay mm. right i will go to the next thing so i will share the set i think the silence just keep in the silence i think uh, you guys have no problems but i really appreciate that uh, some of you guys unmute your mics and ask the question that's really good so i really appreciate it so please do the same in your, in your other lectures as well right so otherwise lectures feel boring and they they like you to ask questions, right? So
so they don't scold or anything because i am a, some sort of lecturer now not a lecturer actually i'm some some sort of a guy teaching inside the university officially so i know that students like staying like statues gonna be frustrate me right so that's the if it could be other lecturers as well so please ask questions so okay so before going into the functions i will talk something on relations right so this is pretty much important when you go to the limits to understand what are the functions are so relations are nothing but if you take two sets right so let's say a and b and you have some elements in these sets because in every set you have some sort of elements in our mathematical sense these are numbers right but in relations you can define for any sets right let's say boys and girls so anything right? so you always make relation with your friends right so these relations can be many ways right you can have one to one it means one to one means uh, if you take one member from a you have one member from b for each and also you can have many to one it means you can have two elements from a link to let's say i call a to b relations right if you take two element two or more elements from a can link to the same element in b two or more element from a can be linked into the same elements in b and also you can have one to many it means i color in blue i use the same diagram for my easiness because i'm too lazy so we have something like this it means one element in a can be related to many elements in b and always you can have it is actually hard to draw many to one many to many relation it means that if you you can have these both cases together this guy and this guy together okay so okay okay so now this is other four types of relation that you can have we call we if we take this one this guy and this one this one and this one we call them functions it means if in that case it means no matter what are the elements in your first set right no matter the element in your first set we call some different names in the functions when it come to functions but the thing is you can treat it as something like this function is something that take some value from a and map it to the well some value in b right so in a function what will happen is no matter what value you give to the function you exactly know what is the output there's something some request Aya, can you please repeat it so i can repeat but can you tell what should i repeat please type in the chat to unmute mic and unmute your mic and say oh, anything is good right actually i don't know because uh, uh i think there are some b connection issue from my side to your side i don't know what is i can repeat but uh, can you please tell what should i repeat Oh, okay thank you i'm already repeat. okay anyway so here so what will happen is if you take some values a some values from a and b for function to be a function you know exactly know what is your output right because you cannot have a function let's say you have some function right uh you give do it one and then it output three and some time later you give it one and it will output five so this is not a function in mathematics you cannot represent that kind of thing using a function because you we call mathematical functions are deterministic it means once you know the input you know what is the output is so in function you call the set you can have something like this you can have some set and you can have your function and map it outputs from another set for this the set which you can which you give inputs we call it domain now function 
and they set that container output you call it codomain but there's some another term called range i dot the inside i'll tell what, what is exactly to that reason let's say range is the set only contain the output of your function value but codomain can contain values which are not output of function value for reason let's say very simple function fx equal x square you can have the, your domain any real number and your codomain you can have real numbers as well because the only reason to be a codomain is the outputs of your function value you outputs of output values of your function should be a subset of your codomain set and if you take range of this function it is nothing but your positive uh, real numbers plus zero okay it means your range is range cannot contain any value which is not a function value single link keyword a function then got to talk domain they cannot function and input then a set together codomain ne kiya ne waage ekena wa function ne ke mona output ekak gatta e output ekak codomain ne ke kiya wage ne set ekak member kenek wenna one habai range ekena kena poddak special range kiyana ekene function ne ke output ekak nowana kisima ekenek ta inna ba thawat sarlawa kiwo codomain ne ekak wenna ekama awashyathawe wage function ne ke enna puluwa okkoma outputs ekak gatto e set ekak wage codomain ne ke subset ekak wenna wana oyata संख्यानी සාපේ සිංගල වචන ටික මේ කිව්වොත් මම හිතන්නේ ඊළඟ කාලේ ඔය වචන ටික ඉගෙනගෙන තිබ්බත් දන්නේ ඩොමේන් එකට කියන වසම කෝඩොමේන් එකට කියන සහ වසම රේන්ජ් එකට කියන පරාසය ඔබ දන්නේ ඔය වචන ටික අපි ඊළඟ කාලේ හරි ටෙක් ඉගෙන ගත්තද කියන්න ඒක මටත් ඉතින් ලොකු මතක ඇහෙන්නේ ඊළඟ කාලේ ඉගෙන ගත්තකන නමුත් මම පස්සේ ඔය සිට වල ඔය වචන ටික පොඩ්ඩක් ටර්මිනලොජි එක හොයලා බැලුවා ඕක තමයි ෆන්ක්ෂන් එක ඩොමේන් කෝඩොමේන් සහ රේන්ජ් එක කියන කතාවෙන් කියන මම ගොඩක් ගැබුරට ෆන්ක්ෂන්ස් වල යන්නේ अदाकनेट Uh, domain can be changed right domain can be changed because sometimes function is not defined on certain domain values but uh, for the codomain sake you cannot talk, you can always treat it as real numbers that's most of the time it is true but if you uh, go with a real uh, complex analysis then it it might not be the case some sometimes function only output imaginary numbers or only output real numbers or only output complex numbers so then uh, it will output complex numbers you can uh, uh manipulate it in complex analysis you have to take the whole set of complex numbers so then it will be a good code away set for in kokata tai wage ka so you can use that in that way but uh, but for the range you have to do be smart to choose what is the range set, range set is because it should contain all the function values and it should not contain any of the values which are not uh, your function values 
ஒரேஞ்சுகள் <laughs> i just want to tell let you know the domain and the range and the codomain these are the main three things that i need to teach you so and the terminology because the, this is important when you go into the limits because otherwise uh, it sometimes going to be quite messy hello fine hello anyone asma dino hello i am pre range at poddak kiya denna ओडिया <laughs> ඔඩිය ඉඩියා එකක් තියෙනවා මට අනිශ්චය එකක් තියාගෙන කියන්න බැහැ ඒක. අයෙ ෆන්ක්ෂන් එකේදී මම හිතන්නේ ෆ්‍රී රේන්ජ් එකයි ඩොමේන් එකයි සමාන වෙනවා. ෆන්ක්ෂන් එකක් වෙනකොට ඒක. ඔව් ඒක what is ෆ්‍රී රේන්ජ් let me check the different ෆ්‍රී රේන්ජ් I think let me check actually මට හරියට මේක රේන්ජ් එක නම් එනවා ෆ්‍රී රේන්ජ් ඉන් මැතමැටික්ස් එකේ වඩා ඇත්තටම ආවෙත් නේද? අ ඔබලා නෝට් එකකවත් මම ඩෙෆිනිෂන් එක දීලා තියෙනවා ටග් ගාලා කියලා බලලා දැන් මොකද්ද කියන්නේ කියලා. Let me check. It should be in function node, right? Uh, you know, the range of the same lazy, I'm going to set it in. Hey, can I say I'm going to make it? What's the thing? The range. Oh, you're not going to get a range here, can I? Hmm. Hmm. ஒரே <laughs> ඔය එක එක නෝට් එක 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 ගොඩක් එක තමනේ ඒ කියන්නේ කොමන්ලි යූස් වෙන ටයිම් එකක් නෙමෙයි ප්‍රී රේන්ජ් කියන්නේ කියන්නේ මට අහු වෙලාම නැහැ ගොඩක් කලින් ප්‍රශ්න අවුරුදු දෙක ප්‍රශ්න අහලා ඒගොල්ලන්ගේ ලෙච්චර නෝට් එකකට පර ඩොකියුමන්ට් එක රිෆර් කරලා මම උත්තරේ දුන්නා නමුත් මට ඒක දැන් ඇත්තටම මතක නැහැ මොකද ප්‍රී රේන්ජ් කියන්නේ කියලා හරියට මේක හොයලා කියන්න මොකක් ඩෙෆිනිෂන් එකක් ඇත්තේ නමුත් ෆන්ක්ෂන් ගැන කතා කරන්න ඔය තුන තමයි බේසික් එකම තියෙන්නේ හරි මොකද ඩොමේන් එක මේක ඩොමේන් එකේ සබ්සෙට් එකක් එනවා කියලා මොකද ඩොමේන් එක කියන්නේ ඔය ෆන්ක්ෂන් එක ඩිෆයින් කරන වැලියුස් ටික ඒ කියන්නේ මොකද ඔයාගේ ඩොමේන් එක ගන්නකොට ඔයාගේ ඩොමේන් එක කියන්නේ හිතන්න මොකද මම මේ වගේ ෆන්ක්ෂන් එක f(x) 1 of x කියලා වගේ ගත්තොත් දැන් ඇත්තටම x 0.0 වෙදි ෆන්ක්ෂන් වැඩි වෙලා ඩිෆයින් වෙන්නේ නැහැ. ඉතින් ඒ වගේ වෙලාවක ඔයාලට ෆන්ක්ෂන් එක ඩිෆයින් කරන්න පුළුවන් f(x) වඩ මුළු x 0.0 වෙදි ෆන්ක්ෂන් එක ඩිෆයින් වෙන්න ඕන නම් 1 of x x 0.0 වෙදි මොකක් හරි බිඳු හරි මොකක් හරි ගත්තද x 0.0 වෙදි. හරි ඒ වගේ ඩිෆයින් කරන්න පුළුවන්. ඉතින් ඩොමේන් එක කියන ෆන්ක්ෂන් වැඩි වෙද ඩිෆයින් කරලා තියෙන ඔයාගේ වැලියු රේන්ජ් එක. ඔයාලට දැන් ඉන්පුට් දෙන්න පුළුවන් රේන්ජ් එක. එතකොට රේන්ජ් එක කියන්නේ සෙට් එක. ඒතර රේන්ජ් එක කියන්නේ ඔයාගේ අවුට්පුට් වැලියුස් එන රේන්ජ් එක. එන සෙට් එක. කොඩොමේන් එක කියන්නේ ඔයාලට නිකන් අර ලොකු සෙට් එකක් කියන්න පුළුවන්. ඒතර ලොකු රිස්ට්‍රික්ෂන් නැතුව ඔයා ෆන්ක්ෂන් එක අවුට්පුට් එක ආවොත් අනිවාර්යෙන් එයා මේ මේ සෙට් එකේ මෙම්බර් එකක් වෙනවා කියලා. ඒතර ඔය ටික තමයි අපි සාමාන්‍යයෙන් ෆන්ක්ෂන් එක කතා කරන තුන. අර ප්‍රී රේන්ජ් කියන එක ටර්ම් එක මම අහලා තියෙනවා. සාමාන්‍ය ගිය අවුරුදු වලට බලෝ මතක ඒකට බල්ලෝ කරලාට ඒ ඩොකියුමන්ට් එකක් එකම ෂෙයා කරන්න ඩෙෆිනිෂන් එකක් තියෙන එකක්. ඒක මොකවට ඒක හරියට වංශ වේගයක් තියාගෙන කියන්නේ බෑ. මොකද ඔක මම කිව්වොත් මොකෝ ලෝක මතකයෙන් ගිහිල්ල වාක් කරනුත් එහෙම ඒ රිස්පොන්ස් එක මම ගන්නවා ඒක නිසා මට ඒ රිස්පොන්ස් එකක් ගන්න බෑ මම බල්ලා කියන්න සෝරි මේ මොකෝ මට ඇත්තට මතක නැහැ ඒ කියන්නේ මට ඒක චුටම බල්ලා කියන්න ඔය පාර ඕගලන් නෝට් එකේ මම දැක්කේ නැහැ ඒක තියෙන යා යු කැන් හැව් මැනි කෝඩොමේන්ස් කෝඩොමේන් ඉස් නොට් යුනික් බට් රේන්ජ් ඉස් යුනික් රයිට් ඒ කියන්නේ වගේ කෝඩ එකම ෆන්ක්ෂන් එකකට වඩ කෝඩොමේන්ස් ගොඩාක් ඩිෆයින් කරන්න පුළුවන් හැබැයි වගේ රේන්ජ් තියෙන පුළුවන් එකයි තව එකක් කියන්න පුළුවන් වගේ රේන්ජ් එකත් වඩ ඕන කෝඩොමේන් එකක් කියන්න පුළුවන් හරි no problem හරි ඔය ගොඩක් ඔය කෝඩොමේන් එක කියලා වෙලා තියෙන අපි අඟවේර ගන්න හරි ඒ කියන්නේ අපිට හරියටම රේන්ජ් කොහන්න බැරි වෙලාවට අපි කෝඩොමේන් එක කියලා ෂේප් වෙනවා ඇත්ත කතා හරි 
Podomain is actually pretty much easy, right? You cannot, you can find any set, any set uh, which is, uh, which is uh, your function value is going to be, your range is going to decide it, it is a codomain. So range is actually pretty much much restricted than codomain. Codomain is a relaxed one and you can find it easily than the range. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So hopefully uh, we can go, go like that way. Right, anyway. So then uh, this is your, uh, this is the thing you need to learn about functions, right? Okay. Now, so is there any problem with this other than the pre-range issue? So if you ask, so then I move into the limits. So this is the most important part of today's session as well as your whole real analysis module and your future mathematics courses as well, right? In calculus or vector calculus, complex analysis, anything you say, that is the main thing going to be right. If you do this correctly, you will earn A pluses or A's not only for this real analysis course or mathematics course first year, you can easily get A's and A pluses for future modules as well, right? So this is the important thing. If you get these things right, you are pretty much in a strong position to learn university level mathematics. Otherwise, uh, it's going to be a disaster. Anyway, so are there any problem? You can ask your chat to unmuting your mic. Hello. Okay. Okay. There's no question. So then we can move into the limits. Okay. Okay. So limits is something like this. Typically, we denote limit as limit x goes to a f x. Let's say this is l. L can be a real number or anything, right? So you know what is the limit is using in a level knowledge right you know in a level knowledge this is not equal to saying if if a equivalent to l right you in a level knowledge you know because we don't consider the x equals a case inside double limits so in the limit definition we have some definition like this first i write this one right the limit Limit f x x a with the anavita f x limit a l take a key and a f a again a a f f f can function a key a value the function value l key and a key the kaka can be a car thing in a theorem. Then a mathematical language can make commonly an equal volume with him make a mogadaman can a good up with the current two is a definition of his own of the big and a little bit of 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 a little delta greater than zero the x delta greater than zero such that zero delta implies fx minus l less than epsilon right this is the definition of the limit right for all epsilon greater than zero there exists a delta greater than zero such that zero less than x minus a absolute value less than delta implies fx minus l less than epsilon okay so what is the hell what the hell this statement going to be mean right so because because uh, before trying to solve problems using this actually i upload the video to my youtube channel as well but i will give you some sort of explanation here i just marked my youtube channel so you can give away and watch there so i can increase some subscribers so because it is a very small channel right i think around three thousand no subscribers are there so hit subscribe and like and comment share or anything you can do right don't report it uh, because if i say anything i to be precise right don't report and you can do anything other than reporting right okay so then if you have some function let's say to do with this i will get a function like this right if you take the a value x minus a absolute value what does this mean this part let's say zero greater than x a x minus a less than delta this part assures that x doesn't equal to a because if if x equivalent to a x minus a's absolute value becomes zero so it is greater than zero means your x cannot be equal to a and this part suggests that you are x minus a less than delta and greater than minus delta it means your x is 
in between a plus delta and a minus delta. It means your x is in between a minus delta and a plus delta. And what the hell this this thing is going to be? This thing makes your fx minus a less than epsilon greater than minus epsilon. And your fx is going to be l plus epsilon less than l minus epsilon. It means, let's say your l is somewhere here. Let's say your l is somewhere here. Okay. Because this is a continuous function. Let's say this is your l. And you have l minus epsilon over here. And you have l plus epsilon over here. This means... Now we are ready to write the definition. Uh, not, not write the definition. We, we are ready to like uh, read this definition or understand what this thing means. This says for any given epsilon value, right? You can find a delta such a way that when your x varies in between a minus delta and a plus delta, you don't consider the a value. Your function value vary between l minus epsilon and l plus epsilon. So, the beauty of this definition is, when you make epsilon smaller and smaller and smaller, what will happen is, your function value, let's say this is L value, and you have, let's say you have, you start with epsilon value of 10, and then you make epsilon value 1, and then you make epsilon value is 0.1, and you make smaller and smaller, what will happen is, your function value is restricted to near this L value very tightly. But no matter how you small this range, you can always find a smaller range, or we call it a neighborhood, bit, uh, neighborhood uh, near to A, near your value A, such a way that when your X reside in that neighborhood, your function value is strictly restricted around L. It means you can make this epsilon arbitrarily smaller, no matter how you, how you make it small, you can always find some delta value or you call it the neighborhood you probably call it deleted neighborhood because you don't consider this a value and such a way that when your x is belong to that neighborhood what will happen is your function value is strictly uh, bound to um, uh, like fluctuate around l you can have a single length you can have a single length again api May definition in Kiani or epsilon kill order than a sankava, a pipsilon kill order than a sankava got to Oyata, delta kill a kin a coil a pen and a puluang, Oagi x kinikina, a minus delta, sa a plus delta, the richer name in a yata a kinagi can never happy at a kin or deleted neighborhood deck here. One of the other deleted neighborhood of a. Deleted neighborhood at the x kinetic and the deleted neighborhood take in the quarter, Moka the Vinny, Wagi function value worker, L minus epsilon, L plus L plus epsilon, another which are an even. Egana epsilon in the punchicot of Moka the Vinny, Wagi function value worker, Sima Veno, L gavatum. Hurry? May definitely the unitish election it ama. Manda me and Prashna Kavu. Mamma to Kiana. Abi, Abi, a customer of the second me, others there, and one of the definition Kian again. The higher desk delta depends on epsilon? Yes. I can't be correct. Why could A plus delta is L plus epsilon delta and the other way, right? No, you cannot say that. Uh, because sometimes, uh, let's say, um, something like this. Uh, if you take function like x squared, right? x squared. Let's say, if, if x equal to x squared, and you take limit x goes to 1, x squared equals, let's say, 1. And if you say to be delta equal to 1, right? Delta equal to 1, right? Your x minus delta, so your oh, 1 minus delta equals 0. So, 0 squared is 0. And your, what you call, 1 plus delta going to be 2, and 2 squared is going to be 4. So, your L is going to be 1. And your down limit, so you can have a function like this. 
and this is a continuous function so limit is going to be same and this is a function and this is one and you have y axis and this is your one this is your limit and here you have zero let's say you have something like this this you have zero and here you have two and this is four you know this guy is four so then if you take epsilon to be, you know, epsilon should be three, right? So epsilon is going to be three. You have, this is going to be, this is, this is, if you, this is L and this is one plus three. And you can have L minus epsilon or one minus three is minus two. So it is not going to be equal from the zero side. Okay. I think that answer your problem, right? I think the one who sent the problem. Okay. Is this idea known as Leighton Hayward? Yes. Hello. I just explained the problem you see in the chat. The, the, the problem was uh, we cannot say, can we say if A minus delta equals L minus epsilon and if A plus delta equals L plus epsilon? The answer is no, right? Delta is just a, delta is just a like bound, right? Delta is just bound of defining how much function value can vary. It can be something like this, right? So you can have, let's say, the x value and this is a value and you have a minus delta here and a plus delta here this is your l right y equals l right so you can have something like this something like this as well right so your, your l minus epsilon is somewhere here and l plus epsilon is somewhere here and but your ends it is at the middle right so it doesn't take any of uh, anything about your function values ंगलिंग लिमिटेन है भाई या किन्हें a minus delta इतनों का delta के वाक वाक का delta के निवेले में बेहतर delta पर दूर प्रमाण है कि ना में बेहतर delta दूर प्रमाण है क्यों तेरे ये value का मध्य दिया और दूर ये ऊपरी में ऐटा भी ला यानी ते में तेरे यानी बोलो में तेरे दिखते आगे लेते कि ना मध्य दिया दूर टा की हिला ये आगे दिलांग मिला इतना में आगे निफांक्शन वैल्यू का समाकर वाके फंक्शन वैल्यू वाके तीन ने पुलवाक मे वैल्यू उस देखा तरह मित्र है एक इनकी ये बन्द है मे बोर्ड लाइन निकली थी मे वैल्यू उस देखा मैं इन्होंने किया पहली पहली थे ओ प्रेगोडिन दाना बाय डर राइट तमरण टीम आता एक इन्होंने कहा हेलो हेलो Anything? Anything about the limit definition? Hello? 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 Anything? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Hello? उदाहरण कैटेक्स वेगा 
लिमिटेड अनेति फंक्शन है का मैं मेरे लिमिटेड अनेति फंक्शन है तो वैसे मैंने कैट एक्स के ने मैं भी दिया था मैं आप इतने लंग का तो फंक्शन वैल्यू वगैरह नहीं दिखाते इतना फंक्शन वैल्यू वगैरह रिस्ट्रिक्टेड नॉन लिमिट टेक का और लिमिट टेक क्या नहीं बैठे लिमिट टेक सारा लगा क्या नहीं वह वह आगे लिमिट टेक को होयेन वैल्यू वगैरह लगा वैल्यू उसकी कातमत का वाला बार है ना वह आगे फंक्शन वैल्यू का मुकाद्दे बनी के लोग गेस करना कि ना मैं फंक्शन का दिया ना कोटा इतना सारा लगा बैठे नहीं वो यार में इतना फंक्शन वैल्यू का अमतक कर ला मैंने मेटी कातमत का वाला गेस करना में इतने नोड मुकाद्दे के है कि है दे तेरा तेरा हेलो तेरा ये क्या नहीं मामा की भी मेरे इप साइलेंट आधार वाले मेरे में डेटल परासे होया नहीं ओ इतना वो ये क्या मांगा ये आनी तेरे ने बोली क्या डेटल टा आधार वाले इप साइलेंट परासे गत तो एक ही नुक्कड़ करने डेटल डेटल लांग करने को इप साइलेंट मैं डिफरेंशन किया मैं डिफरेंशन किया नहीं कौन था मैं मेरे को फो बताओ रखा है ना तेंसर वो अगर तो फंक्शन ने का एक ने तो में इतना गान्नो कोटा एक नॉट में के लिमिट करना ना ना इधर एक में किया ना दास ने में इतनी क्यों नहीं किया इधर ना को आ फंक्शन ने के एक्स में बाउंड का रिस्ट्रिक्ट करो वाके फंक्शन ने का बाउंड ना वो आनिवारे बाउंड का कोले पे वाह एप्स ओन एप्स साइल वाह 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 यू नो खबर आई ना वाह या या दिनों बड़े एप्स साइलेंट के लिए किने तन या दिनों बड़े एप्स साइलेंट के लिए किने एप्स साइलेंट दूर ना मैं एआर दाव में डेल्टा होले पिन्ना ये ओन एप्स साइलेंट के वाह 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 के एल की ना परासी वटा फंक्शन ने को ऊपरी मोसी तभी गाना हादरों वाला पढ़ाएंगे ना भी डेल्टा के निक पर आरागे ना ये डेल्टा ओन एप्सलेंट के टेन वाले पे नहीं कोई तभी सराड़ पे नहीं कोमल करने नहीं है अबे डिफिनेशन नहीं किया ना भी अल्टीमेटली पे ना नोने मटा ओन एप्सलेंट के ने दुन्नो या एक्सएक्स मा एफएक्स माइनस एल के निक के � राइट तब प्रश्न दिया हेलो एग्जांपल लग करने आना तो तब तमाम प्रश्न में डिफिनेशन के संबंध में तीनों को बाहर ना मंदरों को बैठने से भी तो बाकी कमान दिखने दिख रहा है ना वो कोड़ा दिन एक बार दगर ना मरते ही कल मुल्काले पड़े हुए ना अबे भाई आये टेकूड़ दाग तो बैठे ही कूड़े इन मागे अत्तर में कैंपस जीवित Right. Now, I'm going to start with the question. I'm going to limit. X goes to 2. X plus 1. If you want to call it, then you can call it. Then you can call it. If you want to call it, you can call it. We need to show. Right. 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 इंप्लाई करना x plus one minus three less than x मांग करना मैंने भी पार्ट टेक बट अपने नॉन x मेरे को तो मैं कटवेट हूँ मारा तो मैंने नहीं मैं कटवेट मैं गाना करूँ less than x मैं तेरे बारे क्लिप में ना x minus two less than x मैं आता हूँ मापे नन्हे तीन मांग करना let मैं आप इस तरह ना पढ़ी है तो हमारे क्लिप में ना x माइनस टू लेस देन इट्स है ये मैंने इस आप फॉर ऑल एप्साइलन के मित्रों का ना लेट ये मैं हम करना एंड एप्साइलन ग्रेटर देन सी 
all epsilon zero there exists delta greater than zero such that let the particle let let epsilon greater than zero and delta equal epsilon such that uh, zero x minus two less than delta which is implies x plus one minus three less than epsilon clear na hello clear na already understood it is very simple right once you once you simplify this thing you straight away uh, find out what should be your delta according to epsilon right good this is the very simplest problem you can do in limits right using the definition hello hello anyone hello anyone hi hi now then uh, we we'll look uh, i think some of your some of some uh, one of your tutorial problems because this is i think it is good to understand your uh, real analysis thing right in your tutes i think tutorial 6 uh, real analysis problem 1 right so they have been given something like this limit x goes to c f x squared right equal f you have to show l is greater than or equal to zero so though they also give that use a proof by contradiction okay first write the definition first of all in every limit every limit question if you given a limit of a function and they 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 tell you to show something first first of all write down the definition straight away so i write the definition there is delta greater than zero such that zero x minus c plus than delta to be implies fx squared minus l magnitude less than epsilon okay so for every epsilon you can have this right now let let f x let uh, l less than zero then minus l greater than zero right minus l greater than zero so that f x squared minus l greater than minus l agreed right and this is greater than zero as well so f x squared minus l magnitude less than greater than minus l's magnitude or absolute value so then what will happen then since you have the limit right now let epsilon out epsilon right epsilon equal to l's magnitude over 2 because once you given the limit you can put any positive number instead of this epsilon right or also the axis delta l and dash greater than zero such that because that we have the limit zero x minus c less than delta dash which is implies fx square minus l less than epsilon over sorry uh, l magnitude over 2 we know that from this one this guy we know that l's magnitude greater than or equal to fx minus l less than l magnitude over 2 so here if you simplify this one you will have this one so we know l is uh, we assume l is greater than 0 so this is not 0 so we can cancel out you have 1 less than half this is the contradiction thus l should be greater than or equal to 0 fine hello you got the point Uh, yeah, so 
this is okay i will i will tell you why so i do the problem and then i say why i do the problem okay ma single is already given na uh oh i will explain in english and then we'll see to single so let's see how how it goes because in this problem we have given this given this mean we have for any epsilon this definition is satisfied you can give any epsilon and you can find the delta which implies this guy right you can find any epsilon and you can find a delta which satisfy this equation so then to prove by contradiction what i am going to do is i am going to show that if my l is negative i cannot have this implication okay this is what i am going to do so then what i am going to do is i assume my l is less than 0 then i can get i know this part is positive so then this part is positive so uh, this whole part greater than this minus l this greater than 0 so fx minus l is absolute tell you less than minus l is absolute tell but once you get that one but this guy says you can give any positive number and you can find a delta which so x is uh, like varying in some range such a way that this value going to be less than any positive value but here we have the same value greater than some positive value so what i can do is i can to get a contradiction i will put a positive number less than that value to epsilon once i do that one what will happen you can put l uh, magnitude uh, absolute value of l over 2 l over 3 l over 5 l over 10 anything but at the end of the day you should get what you should get some non real numbers and you have some uh, you have some greater than sign to the smallest value you can put right you can put minus l over 2 instead of magnitude uh, absolute value of l over 2 that's totally fine right because i just put uh, i just put the absolute value because uh, if i i need to show that uh, i can put the absolute value with no harm to both of these equations right that's why i do that one. okay so here i took this value because i just want to take some positive value right this is positive value in terms of l l low l's absolute value which is smaller than l's absolute value okay i think uh, you get the point right hello Uh, someone has uh, I, uh, if we choose data set that delta less than epsilon we can prove it right so why did you say delta equals epsilon because that's 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 no harm right in the previous question we uh, whether you put uh, delta equal epsilon no delta equal greater than no epsilon greater than no equal delta that's totally acceptable right because you can because you, you the only thing you need to show for any epsilon value you can find a delta so if you get any epsilon value you can use the same value for delta that's no harm right uh the mega etra mama karem hema da mata meka pennuwama mata me dakte diila thiyena nisa mama me gaane penna mata me gaane meya diila thiyena okena mata me definition ekak meyata satisfy karanawa kela diila thiyena etra da mama metana karanna yanne mage l kenek kena negative wonoth meya me definition ekak hold wenna hekela pennanna eno ekena meyage limit ekak tibila l kenek kena bindu wenna behakela pennanna l kenek kena rina wenna behage एल के निकल रीना कर रहा होगा वह मटमोग दे बैंडी मगर मैं एफएक्स वार्गे के निकल नहीं वाले दाना सांकेत आपने वार्गे आपने सा इतने एफएक्स माइनस एल के ने एक के ना लोकुएड वाला माइनस सेल्ट वाला तो माइनस सेल के निकल ना दाना सांकेत आपके ना मगर मैं ऐसा नहीं करने देंगे दें मगर तो मैं देखा थे मैं माप आंके करने पड़ोगा इतना माप आंके का तो एफएक्स वार्गे माइनस एल के ना के माप आंके लोकुएड वाला माइनस सेल के माप आंके टा बड़ा तब मितने क्या ने मुकाद दे मटे डे मटे मैं मैं एफएक्स वर्गे माइनस एल के ने के ना के माप आंके ओवर नंबर दाना सांग क्या वर्ड आप पढ़ी हुई ने पढ़ दी बट ने बुक डेक कोले पेंडर ने पढ़ो ऐ बाकी एसेम्प्शन ने का आर गिने वाम करने का रंगीयर बस मटे ने वाम ओवर नंबर एक्स वैल्यू एक कटा बिन्ने में एफएक्स वर्गे माइनस एल के ने के � ඒක නම කරන්න යන්නේ මෙන්න මෙයාව අරගෙන රයිට් ඒ ආට වඩා මෙතනට දාන්න යනවා එක කෙනෙක් මෙතන මම මෙතන දානවා ඒ කෙනෙක් කෙනෙක් මම දැන් මම මෙතන මට බී කෙනෙක් කෙනෙක් ඉන්නවා දැන් මෙතන ඉන්නේ හෙමෙක් කෙනෙක් නේ දැන් මෙයා මොකටද වැඩි එක කෙනෙක් කියලා බඩ ඉන්නවා තමයි මේතන බී කියලා තියෙන්නේ එල් ගේ මාප අංකේ හරි මම මෙතන ඒ කෙනෙක් කෙනෙක් දාන්න යනවා ඒ කෙනෙක් කෙනා කුඩයි එල් ගේ මාප අංකේ වෙන විදිහට සා එල් වැසුරින් ඉතින් මම මොකද කරේ මම එල් ගේ මාප අංකේ මිදි මිදක දැන් මොකද මට එල්ට වඩා ගන්න පුළුවන් සරලම එක කෙනා යාගේ බාගේ 
වට ඕන එකක් බෙදීම 3 බෙදීම 4 ඕන එකක් දන ඕන වට l බා 1 ම දාන්න පුළුවන් කිසිම අවුල නැහැ අපි වා මේක් ෂෝ කරන්න ඕන ගේ l බා ගේ ඒ කියන්නේ l ගේ මාපාංකය ඒකට වඩා ලොකුයි කියලා ඒ ඒ ඉතර දාගන්න වඩා ලේසි ඒ කියන්නේ බෙදලා දාන එක හරි අඩු කරන වඩා මොකද අඩු කරලා තියාගෙන වෙන්න පුළුවන් නේ ඒක නිසා අපිට ඉලක්කම පොඩි කරන්න තේසින් විදිය එයාට වඩා මෙවක් හරි ඒකට වඩා ලොකු ධන සංඛ්‍යාවකින් බෙදෙන එක ඉතින් බෙදලා මම ගැට එක්සයිල් එන්නේ මොකද එක්සයිල් එන කෙනෙක් ඒ කියන්නේ l ගේ මාපාංකය බෙදීම දෙක කියන දාපු ගමන් එයා ධන සංඛ්‍යාවක් නේ ඉතින් මෙයාට තරියෙන් ඩෙල්ටා එක කෙනෙක් අනිවාර්යයෙන්ම ඉන්න ඕන මොකද මේ ලිමිට් එක තියෙන නිසා එහෙම හදන් ගියාට පස්සේ මට එනවා මේ x වටා මේ neighborhood එකක් ඉන්නවා fx වර්ගයේ l කියන එක කියලාගේ neighborhood එක l ගේ මාපාංකය වඩා දෙක වෙනි l ගේ මාපාංකය බෙදීම දෙකට වඩා පොඩි වෙනි විදිහට කියලා ඊට පස්සේ මම කරන්නේ මේ අසමානතාවයයි මෙතනින් ආපු එක නේ දෙකකට ගන්න එතකොට x කියන එක කියන මෙන්න මේ රේන්ජ් එකේ ඉන්නකොට මෙන්න මේ මාපාංකය l ගේ මාපාංකය බෙදීම දෙකට වඩා අඩු වෙන්නත් ඕනේ නම් ඕන x වගේ එකට එයා l ගේ මාපාංකයට වැඩි වෙන නිසා මේ වගේ l ගේ මාපාංකයට වැඩි වෙන්නත් ඕනේ ඉතින් මැට්ට අමතක කරලා ලියපු ගමන් වාට l වගේ cancel out කරන්න පුළුවන් වාට එනවා එක කුඩයි වගේ කියලා ඉතින් එක contradiction එක ඒතර මට වෙන්න පුළුවන් එකම වැඩක් තමයි මගේ මේ assumption එක ඉතින් මම කියනවා මගේ l කියන එක කියන විශාල ලෙවල් සමානයි බිඳු වෙන්න ඕනේ කියලා අද සැබෑ දිලි hello තේරුණ නැද්ද නම් ඒත් නැද්ද hello anyone hello anyone ආයෙ දැන් එක වාට ඉස්සෙල්ලා අපි ලෙට් එල් කුඩායි බින්දුව කියලා අරගත්තට පස්සේ මේ දැන් මේ මේ නව ලෙට් එප්සයිලන් ඉකොස් එල් බෙදීම දෙකයි මාපාංග කියලා තිනවනේ ඒක දෙපාර ගන්න ගන්න පුළුවන් දෙයක් ඒක ඒක වෙලාවකදී එකක් අරගෙන ඉස්සලා දායක ගන්න ඕක පුළුවන් ඒක මේ ඩෙෆිනිෂන් එක මලි ෆික්ස් කරලා නැහැ මේ ඩෙෆිනිෂන් එකෙන් කියන්නේ ඔයාලට එප්සයිලන් වලට ඕනම ධන සංඛ්‍යාවක් දෙන්න පුළුවන් ඔයාලට ඩෙල්ටා කෙනෙක් හොයලා පෙන්වන්න පුළුවන් කියන එක විතරයි ඔයාලගේ ඩෙෆිනිෂන් එකෙන් කියන්නේ ඉතින් මම කරේ ඉතින් මම කිව්වා හරි වාඩ ඕන එප්සයිලන් එකෙන් ඩෙල්ටා කෙනෙක් හොයන්න පුළුවන් නම් එප්සයිලන් එකෙන් කියන එල් ගේ මාපාංකය බෙදීම දෙක වෙන වෙලාවේ ඩෙල්ටා එක කෙනෙක් ඉන්න ඕනේ මොකද ලිමිට් එක තියෙන නිසා ඒතර මම කියන්නේ එහෙම ලිමිට් එක තිබිලා එල් කියන එක කෙනා බින්දුව වල අඩු වෙන්නත් බැහැයි කියලා හරි එන ලිමිට් එක දෙනවා කියන වාඩ මෙතනට ඕනම ධන සංඛ්‍යාවක් දාන්න පුළුවන් කිසිම බයක් නැතුව තේරුණ නේද hello ප්‍රශ්න නම් මල්ලි මෙතන වගේ ප්‍රශ්න උත්තරේ දුන්නද නැත්තම් මම මොකක්ද කරේද කිව්වේ අපිට මට එහෙම වෙනවා ඒක ප්‍රශ්න වලට ආර ප්‍රශ්න වලට ඔයාලට උත්තර දෙන්නේ හරි ඒකට මෙහෙම සීන් නේ දැන් මෙතන දැන් ඔයගොල්ලන්ට තියෙන ප්‍රශ්නේ ඇයි මම මේ එල් ගේ මාපාංග බෙදීම දෙක ගත්ත කියන එකනේ මම මුලින්ම එල් කියන එක නම් කුඩයි කියලා උපකල්පනය කරලා මෙතනට එනකන් තේරෙනවද කියන්නේ මේ පාට් එක වෙනකන් ඒක සාමාන්‍ය ගණිකයක් නේ දැන් ඒක තේරෙනවනේ ඒක තේරෙයි එතකොට දැන් මම මෙන්න මෙතනට එන්නේ හරි उपकल्पने एक्सट्रीम केस से आगान नहीं क्या नहीं तब मैं महिमा बना वाला मामा गान ना हारी एना एप्साइलन के ने क्या ना एलगीबीडी में देखा कि याने दानसंग क्या आवाक ए एप्साइलन अगे इटक मरा डेल्टा के ने अनिवार्य इन ओ ने मैं आगे लिमिट टक दिया नहीं सा बट मैं लिमिट टक दिया ना क्या ने मैं डिफिनिशन ने कहा එල්ගේ මාපාංකය බෙදීම දෙක උනත් අවුලක් නැහැ උපකල්පනය එකම උපකල්පනය මොකද්ද fx fx ගේ මාපාංකය ඒ කියන්නේ fx මොකද්ද එකම උප එකම f සරණ දෙන්න ඕනේ එකම අවශ්‍ය තාගෙන ඔයා මෙතන දාන ඉලක්කමට දෙන්නේ එකම අවශ්‍ය තාවයි දාන වීම පමණයි ඉතින් මම ගන්නවා මගේ epsilon කෙනෙක් කෙනා ඒක ඒක අවස්ථාවක් විදියට මොකද මෙයා ඕන epsilon කෙනෙක්ට හරි නම් එල්ගේ මාපාංකය බෙදීම දෙක කියන්නේ ධන සංඛ්‍යාවකට මට ඩෙල්ටා එක කෙනෙක් හොයන්න පුළුවන් වෙන්න ඕනේ එහෙම ගත්තට පස්සේ මොකද වෙන්නේ fx වර්ගයේ මයිනස් l කියන එක කෙනාගේ මාපාංකය මෙයාගේ l ගේ මාපාංකය බෙදීම දෙකට වඩා අඩු වෙන විදියට මම ඩෙල්ටා එක කෙනෙක් ඉන්නවා කියලා මම දන්නවා මොකද ලිමිට් ඩෙෆිනිෂන් එකේ මට කිලිම්ම කියන්න පුළුවන් ආයෙ හොය හොය ඉන්න ඕනේ මොකද ලිමිට් එක තියෙනවා කියලා දීලා තියෙනවනේ එහෙම තියෙද්දි මොකද කරන්නේ ඔයාගේ ලිමිට් ඩෙෆිනිෂන් එකෙන් ඔයා දන්නවා ඔයාගේ යම්කිසි x පරාසයකට a වටා ඉන්න c වටා ඉන්න මේ පාට් එක හරියන මෙතන මෙයාගෙන් දන්නවා ඔයාගේ x වල ඕන මගේකට මෙයාව හරියන ඉතින් මේ අසමානතාව දෙකම එකට ලියුවා එහෙම ලියලා 
මැද්ද අමතක කරපු ගාම මට එනවා එල්ගේ මාපාංගේ එල්ගේ මාපාංගේ විඳින්න ඉඳලා අඩු වෙන්නේ ඉතින් මෙයාට මෙයා කපලා දාන්න පුළුවන් මොකද එල් කෙනෙක් නැ කුඩයි බිඳුව කියලා මම ගන්නේ එතකොට මට එනවා බාගේ කෙනෙක් කෙනා ඒකට වඩා විශාලයි එයා කන්ට්‍රඩික්ෂන් එකක් එහෙම වෙන්න බෑ ඒක නිසා මගේ එල් කෙනෙක් කෙනා විශාලව සමානයි බිඳුව වෙන්න පුළුවන් ඔය ටික තේරෙනවද ආයෙ කෙනෙක් ප්‍රශ්නයක් කරලා දෙන්නේ එෆ් එක්ස් වර්ගයේ කුඩයි බිඳුව කියලා කන්ට්‍රඩික් කරන්න පුළුවන් නේ කොහොමද ඒක කරන්නේ ंग लिमिट यू कैनोट पुट f x squared equals l over two or something, but I think uh, you know I'm unmuted. Say, I think there's something wrong you are doing, right? You cannot straight away say f x squared minus. L के मा L के मापांक के दान ना तो ये मैं L बेदी में देखा क्या ना दान ना दान ना बोलूँ ना बेड L L के निगेटिव नंबर करने वाली ये तो ये आप पॉजिटिव वाले बेड सॉरी रिनेल रि, रि, बेदी में देखो क्या ये तो बस ये fx වර්ගයේ කුඩයි l බෙදීම දෙක කියලා යනවා බෑ නේ මෙතන මාප වගේ නේ මේ වට මාපාංකේ fx වර්ගයේ -l කියලා ලියලා මෙතන -l කියලා දාන්න කියන්නේ නම් එහෙමද මේ මාපාංකේ නැතුව කියලා මාපාංක අයින් කියලා දෙන්න පුළුවන් කියලා දරන්නේ නිසා ඒක හරි ඒක දෙපැත්තටම l එකතු කරොත් ආ ඔය එහෙමත් පුළුවන් රයි ඔය අපි ඒක නවා වගේ මාපාංක වගේ නෙමෙයි මේක fx වර්ගයේ -l මේක මාපාංක වට fx වර්ගයේ fx වර්ගයේ -l කියන්නේ කමෙන්ට් කියලා පුළුවන් මාපාංකේ නැතුව मुकद अभी आधा नेकले दान नहीं था तो आधा पता नहीं क्या बोलते हैं ना मैं आ माइनस एल पे दीम से करोड़ा कुड़े के लोगों को माइनस एल के ने एक ने एल के ने के लोगों मापांक कर माइनस एल के लिए दान मुकद आप नेगेटिव नाम बेकन तो अगर देवत्र में लेके तो कर देवत्र में लेके तो करा मारना एफएक्स वार के පුළුවන් හැබැයි මට මෙතන ඉඩ සී විදිහට සනා පොඩ්ඩක් මං හරහට ලිව්වේ ඒකට ඕකට ඔක්කොම එකම ස්ක්‍රීන් එකේ තියෙන නැත්නම් මට දෙපැත්තට ස්ක්‍රෝල් කරන්න ඉඳලා ටුක්ටක් විස්තර කරනවා මම ට්‍රයි කරන්නම් මගේ හෑන්ඩ් රයිටින් එක පිළිවෙල ගත කරන්න නමුත් මම දන්නවා ඒක කැතයි කියලා මම ලියන එකේ පිළිවෙල අඩුයි කියලා සෝ බෙයා විත් මී ප්ලීස් මම ට්‍රයි කරලා දාන්න පොඩ්ඩක් බලන්න මං ජිල්මට්ට දාන්න මම ඒකට දෙපැත්ත ඒක ගොඩක් වෙලාවට එහෙම හරහට ලියන්නේ මට ඒතර ඔක්කොම එකම ඔක්කොම කන්ටෙන්ට් එක එකම page එකේ තියාගන්න පුළුවන් ඒතර විස්තර කරද්දී ඔක්කොම එකම තැන තිබ්බම ඕගලන්ට බලන්න ලේසි දැන් මේක නම් ඇත්තටම මෙන්න මේ පාට් එක නෝ දීන්න මේක නම් අවුල් වෙලා සමහර කට ඔයගොල්ලෝ ෆෝන් එකකින් වගේ බලනවා නම් ඔක ප්‍රශ්නයක් වෙනවා නමුත් ලැප්ටොප් එකකින් වගේ බලලා තියෙනවා දැන් ලොකු ඉෂුවක් වෙන්නේ නැහැ ඔය. අ any questions? Hello. නැතිනම් බලන්න. Right. අ මට අතරම අද ඕන එකෙන් limit definition එකකට කරලා limit definition එක පොඩ්ඩක් තියෙනවා limit definition එක සෙල්ලම දාන්න කොහොමද කියලා. ඒක සම්බන්ධ මම හිතන්නේ මගේ YouTube channel එකේ තව videos ටිකක් තියෙනවා මම ඒ links ටිකත් ඔයගලට share කරන්න. මම ඒ videos ටික limits කරන මම කරපු සම්පූර්ණ set එකක් තියෙනවා. तब मगे एनिमेशन एक कदापि सेट तो मगे वीडियोस चाहिए तो करने शेयर करना नहीं इटिकत बालन है बाल बाल लाभने साथी तब गाना सेट टेक कुछ हर ना में लिमिट्स लेंगे लिमिट्स लेते हैं उपको के लिए सियाल ना मोगल लगे टेक के दिया ना वांगे ना वीडियो सेट टेक दिया ना एक आने वाले मिलाव का बालन है ना निकाम पास Whether I'm doing did that or not, uh, and or, but in the 
uh, animation video i'm sure they are these are in singular but uh, uh, the slides are in english so you can just refer it i think uh, unfortunately if you cannot work through just contact me i will uh, show you some material so i will explain them again in the next, next session in briefly and uh, another thing i have to mention is like uh, about your uh, field familiarization i think that is really important uh, to 21st batch and also the newcomers those are yet to come to the university uh, i don't know whether there are how many are people are there because they are not much attending the engineering like uh, these academic sessions because they need, they need to like have some freedom but uh, those freedom is going to be lost when you come to the university so when you choosing a department i know you have field familiarization and field familiarization are over so don't look at the salaries don't look at the uh, anything but just think what you need to do so then choose uh, 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 yeah so I, I have another question I will answer that to later so then uh, you can uh, you can choose your uh, department according to your need and your passion and think about that you need to do what you need to do and uh, if sometimes uh, if you think about career opportunities or salaries i think there are certain fields that you can earn more but you have strong dislike to them don't go there but uh, if you have let's say you don't have clear vision what to do you don't have clear because most of you guys are that like in that way right because you don't have clear interest or clear ambition what to do so then what you can do is you can start trying to love what you do it means uh, you can choose the department depend the salary or anything and then you can after choosing department you can give your fullest commitment to do your degree so then actually you can do in a better shape uh, after the four years and uh, then another question they ask uh, whether i am staying in the Marutova campus or outside uh, actually i am living very nearby to the university i mean pretty under so i can come to the university if you guys need to talk to me or have some advice so you to meet me person i can come to the university anytime within 10 minutes from my home i can come but uh, most of the time i will like uh, sometimes uh, i'm not sure but uh, within uh, some time i will i may go abroad but i don't know uh, how the few days goes but uh, that's how it goes right so commitment so yeah, so it is it is gonna be like uh, it is gonna be because uh, most of the time uh, I will stay in Sri Lanka for some time, uh, uh, not very long, but I think around a year or two. But uh, yeah, I need to check on that. But uh, it depends on how things goes, right? Uh, yeah, I most of the time I will if I can come to the university that's the answer I can give. So okay, so that's how it goes so let's see uh, and i come to the university most of the time i think once or two twice a month i most of the time i come to the university because uh, so doing some do some sessions or do some department work or something I, I most probably come so you can meet me anytime and then uh, yeah that's what uh, i can do on my side i can always help you can always call me you can always message me or anything i i am more than happy to help and do your best in your first semester exam and pay attention to the syllabus and you can always get a good result and no matter how you are what 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 is your island rank or you, whether you are a very weak student at school and nobody cares you that doesn't matter i'm also like that way because when i come to the university nobody believes in me i'm just ordinary people one even most of the people don't believe that i passed the a levels but uh, unfortunately i passed and uh, I come to the University of Morotu and then I get a four point GPA and uh, do a lot of stuff. So then uh, you can always do that one. So any of you can achieve such feat. So it means if I do, I think you can do. So that's my, my thing because I am not the smartest person in the room when I school in my school or my when I come to the university, but I managed to do uh, get managed to get four point GPA. So I think you can do you can probably do better, right? You can do four point out of four point two. I get four point out of four point two. But you can get four all the four point scale. You can straight away score all of the A pluses for all the subjects you have that capability. So yeah. So always uh yes thank you for attending and also I really welcome you thank you messages as well because uh, when I come to the university like there are no people to help me. So there are people but uh, 
there's lack of help so that's why i start, start trying to i'm saying that i decided that once i came to the university i say i i want to help the juniors and i want to be the best possible senior that i can be so i hope you all you will also be so so if uh, some years in time if i in foreign country and i look at the university of Morocco, uh, i think you if i see you guys continuing to help in the juniors i, I am more than happy that's the uh, that's the most a valuable gift that you can give to me that helping the juniors because that's the most of the teachers thing i love to see there are a lot of people in our batch helping the juniors and also in the your senior badges and i want to increase that number so then make it a better place for every junior so please try to be good seniors and help your juniors and always before that achieve your personal goals and be more right because i believe that one because i always pursue academics well because if i become more i can do more for other people that's why that's why that's where my motivation become because if i want to do a phd because if i do a phd i can help more people i can help bachelor students and i can master student even i can do more for other people that's the only motivation drives me to study well so i think that kind of motivation really helps you a lot so take your learning as experience take your learning as a journey and think that if you if you become skillful more don't take it as cut off right so don't take it as a don't take it as a responsibility because you have huge responsibility to help other people to the society and because if you have more skills it means more responsibility it is not a jewel or anything to be proud of it is going to be it is always going to be responsibility and to be do something valuable to the society and to your fellow mates so if you are good at something it doesn't mean that you need to proud of it means you need to help others that's the only thing it means go to environment or nature or anything if you see talent means you need to use that talent to the benefit of others so that's the only thing i believe and i think that's the very good thing to believe as well then it will motivate you to study as well if you do that way you can help happily and satisfactory and you can achieve all of your dreams and uh, that's kind of thing uh, message i can need to do guys i think uh, i'm not i'm not wasting your time so that's it so good night you all if you have any problem you can ask otherwise you can uh, leave and we can conclude this session. yeah okay i can do always even i can do some physical session as well if you permit and uh, i'm more than happy to help you right because i love teaching right so that's that's one thing I do that way. Okay. Anyone? Uh, any questions? So can you wind up? Okay. How much? God bless. Thank you. Okay. So I will stop sharing. So you can always WhatsApp me or anything regarding the academic sessions. Uh, I will more than happy to help you. Thank you. Goodbye.